Hello, sir. I'm, I'm got my mouth shut. My mouth's shut. Take this out. Now put it back on. I'm still gonna be resting on that. Doug, he's he's already had two thirds. I'm, I'm, he's he's already in a coma. I'm macking. <laughs> it, was, it was laminated, rotten, and uh, kind of uh, crumbly. That was the only thing wrong. Right right. Chuck, a question for you. How do these things go? How do these things go? Wednesday, April 29th, I think. And we're here at Doug's shop and we've brought a little present. Lunch, a little lunch for everybody. Uh, from the Italian market. Hello, sir. I'm, I'm, got my mouth shut. My mouth's shut. Every bit of my brain car, which ain't that much left. Charlie. Yo. Is this what you're talking about? You're making that line? Ooh. Oh, now run it right here. I'm the bullshit. <sighs> There? Like that, yeah. What do you okay. got? A quarter inch right here. Uh-huh. And um it's a quarter, it looks like a quarter inch below the cleat line we have marked across the bulkhead there. Let's take this out. <laughs> now put it back up. Well, it's still gonna be resting on that bulkhead right. there, but now we go like this. Mm -hmm. Just hold on to it for a second. Let me get this on. That fucking clamp's right in the way. Of course. <clears throat> See what I want to do is clamp this here. And then slide it out here and drop it down to the face. See like that? See? Okay. okay, hold it right there. Got it? Yep. Yep. That should tell us what we want to take off here. Grab it like that. There's something to keep it from falling. Damn it. <laughs> nice new bulkhead there. Oh yeah. Well, a slight improvement on the other one. No, you can't, can't get one there. Um, well, you know what? Uh, I like this line. You know, move right, your, move your, right there. Yeah. I just barely seen that. UK. I want you to make a mark, a small mark, where this bottom edge hits okay. the bulkhead. Well, wow, since you're stuck in there, wait for him. What's what's going on right here? Well, I see the I see the the nice new bulkhead. We squared everything up and we're just trying to get everything to plane properly so it's not cobbled. Gotcha. So this board that you're playing with is not necessarily a, a piece that you're no, putting in. It's just like a, and... a tool to, to level it. It's called jigging up. How does it look on our cleat mark that we originally put on? Is it our mark too high? The cleat's, uh, cleat line's a quarter inch too high. Okay, good. No biggie. Go this way. Uh huh. You see that? Mm hmm. 
that's because this is what square fucking moved on me when I was clamping it. Um, lift that end up just a wee bit. Okay. That's out of quarter. You see where we're going mm -hmm. with this? Okay, so that means that this, if we recite down, which I'm going to do right now, is probably too low on that end. Which means this bulkhead, the original one, mm -hmm. isn't plumb on the boat. Five eighths. See, we want to follow this. Because the boat's not level, we can't use a level to do any of this work. We have to follow the old countertops. That's about a half inch or so. You're saying we don't know right now if the boat is level, so we can't... We know it's not level. It's just in its... Just in the world or just on its cradle? It's nose down like a long ways. Oh, okay. About a foot or more. Oh, gotcha. So you can be off a half inch and nobody can tell. The worst we're going to be off is about an eighth. Was it was <laughs> laminated, rotten, and... Uh, Kind of uh, crumbly. <laughs> that was the only thing wrong. Uh, somebody like it, bur it burnt, maybe and even too. Somebody been practicing with a shotgun on it. <laughs> Apparently. Obviously. What the heck? <laughs> so look at this. Like a beat on it with something. I mean, styrofoam. Styrofoam, and I guess that was for insulation purposes. Yeah. Did it help at all? I don't, well, even originally. Well, and it's styrofoam sandwich between masonite. What could go wrong with that? <laughs> Oh, Lordy. All right. All right, what we got? What do we got here? We got some Roma Italian market specialty stuff. The hell First is of that? all, that's a bottle of olive oil for you oh, to take home. I was going to say, we're going to start drinking olive oil. We're going to start drinking this early? <laughs> <laughs> I thought about it. Well, when I saw if the you, King Cobra box, I was like, all right, Doug. It's a malt it. liquor, baby. You know what? You, Thanks for this. I was just at the store the other day with Chan. We saw avocado oil. Okay. Have you ever had that? No, no, it's probably great. It's gotta taste good. It's gotta taste good. Well, this is uh, unfiltered, very Organical. special. Yeah, and uh, cold press from Sicily. And uh, get we get it through this Italian market. So we got one for Clint too for his prize. There he gets Thank one you. too. Clint, of course, has a family, so he's got a lot more stuff in here than I you. Use this every morning. What's that? I use this every morning. Olive oil. What do you use olive oil for? Uh, scramble eggs in the morning. In oh, pan. isn't that so good? <laughs> My stainless steel pan, if I heat up the olive oil really yeah, good. Yeah. It's like a non Oh, I love the way it tastes, like... right? So good you're, for you, too. And good oh. for you. Thanks, Charlie. So we got a. Uh, here, so these are the sandwiches. Oh, man. Your strong body. Thank you, baby. But I also. Let's see, for Clint, we got, he's a salami guy. Oh yeah, this, oh hell yeah. This, uh, he recommended it just today, he said what brand new. Hell? Are you catering now? <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh dude, this is good stuff. Oh, my right camera's there. running out of. What is this? Come this has got some sauce too. Sausage ragu. Yeah, ah. for Clint, we got, also got a, a lasagna in here. Oh, oh, so, God. oh, this is for lunch, some, some olives. Do you like olives? These are green olives, they're very good. They're very, okay. very good. I will right, we'll try all this Charlie? stuff, so. But I'm gonna have to well, say. Let's take a look here. <laughs> oh, green olives, yeah. These olives are I mean, so good. good. Oh man, I gotta try those. I've had those in a hundred years. Mm. I thought these were illegal. <laughs> mm. There you go, boy. I've never had an olive in my life that I liked. Just to say, okay, what do we think? How is the how's the food? All right. Everybody, they've had the, the taste of the sandwich. Oh, man. The sandwich is half gone already. Doug, he's, he's already had two thirds. I'm, I'm, he's, he's already in a coma. I'm macking. <laughs> he's, he's, in a, he's in a meat coma. <laughs> he's gone. <laughs> All right, we, I have to go delete some media to get a little time on the camera. So <laughs> we'll figure out what we're going to delete now. Need to get some more of that. High fructose iced tea. Oh, <laughs> I go with this. Oh. Hey, this is all natural. Heck yeah. You know, so at least it's it is honest food, honest Italian food. I bought a 12 pack of tea. <laughs> and I opened it up and took a slug of it. What the hell is this? Oh, it's not tea. Well, it's. It says tea. On the air for a final epilogue, Doug wanted to show us something here. Isn't that nice? Now this is says port bunk. Yeah, this goes in and the and the, the little plywood lids fit on here. <laughs> oh, okay, great. Yeah, this is nice? from the saloon. Yeah. 
So they didn't glue it, they just used these little tiny screws and zero sealer of any description underneath. Right, now this is what was, uh, what, holding the, uh, the cushion on? The cushion the platform. Cu the cu oh, the cushion platform, oh, wow. Yeah, oh, yeah. So this is the cleat, the whole cleat rig. It holds, yeah, it holds the lid on. Yeah, well, yeah, pretty flimsy. So, but light, you know, it is a racing boat. That's what Charles would tell you. It was built as a racing boat, so light. They want, and they saved, you know, gallons of sealer. You know what that weighs? I know. If you take all the paint off, paint off a 757, yeah. it's like five tons or something. Five tons of paint, right? It okay, it is. Thousands of pounds of oh, paint. That's why American yeah. Airlines was a polished aluminum. Polished aluminum. It looks great. It saved a lot of weight. So that's Very what, so here is sometimes like this. So, all right, but this is, uh, you're saving this now? Well, Just for a frame? <laughs> I mean, for a, for a. If, if we reuse Oh, great. It. And now we're looking at liquor. Liquor. If we reuse that, we will definitely clean it up and okay. seal it with some Smiths okay. at the very least. Well, what I want to do with these, Jim. Oh, a little flimsy. Yeah, yeah. and, and, and it, you can't just put them back in like this because they look very used. Yeah. So I'm thinking we take them apart, glue them square down on the table. Okay. Next day, well, while well, it's apart, you sand everything nicely. And then we hit it with some Interlux uh, or Soft White. Okay. So they look clean. Gotcha, gotcha. Instead of just putting it back in. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they, they just look too crappy to well, put back in. Well, like this one, and yeah. the same old, see that delamination? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it's <laughs> so, so far, that's the only one I've seen that's delaminated. You so know, we can probably peel that off and re-glue it. Is it worth, you know, as, as part of an original piece of the boat, I like what you're thinking. You know, save it and put it back together if possible. Mm -hmm. uh, also, a little extra room hanging on the back of the doors on the boat. It's kind of nice to have. This is for where you put some glass glassware. That's what these are for. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. So yeah, I agree. Right, and, and you, can't, you don't want to relaminate them. This one here. Just the yeah. one. Looks like so far. Right. Okay, that's a couple. Yeah. So definitely clean those up. In fact, I could even take those and, you know, you know, maybe have my kids clean them up. Well, they have to be glued. Glued, yeah. No, so better you do that. Probably a little yeah. bit of sanding and sealing so yeah. they look pretty. Yeah. 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 What these were, does these are up here and the bottle goes in and then down or something? Uh, you know, there's a bottle. <laughs> no. What uh, was this thing? Yeah, just uh, for glassware again. It was for glasses. Oh yeah. Yeah, like for stuff. Yeah. Below is what we're trying to figure out. Yeah. You go up here. It must mm -hmm. have the bottle would be on the shelf. Yeah, let me get back to you with that with Charles. I'll talk to Charles. It looks like these are from two separate cabinets. No, those one on the doors. The, the small ones right there mounted on these the are on the door. Yeah, those mounted on right. the door. Right, but this, those, those were in the same cabinet. We're just in one cabinet. With well, the new electrical panel is now. That's the old. Yeah, yeah. Give me that too. Yeah, right, we're about out of. Well, did they go like that? I don't remember. I'm gonna I talk get to it. Charles. I think this was for clearance on that. Yes, yeah, that was that way. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so this was obviously in the front. Right. Because the bottles are taller in the back. Yeah. So my thinking is, it's probably went something like this. You that wanted, doesn't. In other words, you wanted to grab yeah. those bottles about halfway yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, but that wasn't the way they were. No, but uh, but I'll talk to Charles. He'll remember. Charles who? Charles, Captain oh, Charles. Charles. <clears throat> Nether soul. Nether you know. soul. Chuck, a question for you. How do these things go? How do these things go? All right, so Door, there you go. This one down low. It's a question for our audience, our audience members. How do you submit your questions on YouTube? And if the winner will get a special, uh, some Doug will do something. He'll polish something for them. I'll do a, I'll do a YouTube strip tease. Oh. That's how Anthony Weiner got started, you know. So anyway. Funny how his name is Weiner. <laughs> yeah, yeah, or Josh Ernest. Yeah, exactly. What is this, cartoon time? Anyway, so there you go. <laughs> All right, there we'll we go. We'll figure it out.